Welcome to Frame Ready. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the materials block on the work order file. This section of the work order file is where you select all of the components that make up the custom frame job. To enter a frame, click the search button. In the search screen, type in the first few digits of the frame number. You can also search by any of the other fields you see here. If FrameReady finds more than one frame that meets your search criteria, you will be presented with a list. Select your desired frame. You will notice that the majority of the molding items have a vendor designated suffix. In this case, .lj for Larson Jewel. To delete a frame, use the green Delete button on the right. Frames can also be entered by typing the item number directly into the frame field. Item numbers need to be entered exactly how they appear in the price codes file, and they need to include the appropriate suffix. If you're having trouble finding a specific molding, it's best to use the search function we demonstrated first. You can see a list of all your vendor prefixes and suffixes by selecting Update Vendor Pricing on the main menu. This list can also be printed. The easiest way to enter a molding is to click in the frame field and scan the UPC from the corner sample with a barcode scanner. The retail price of the molding is displayed to the right. Map boards are all preceded with a vendor designated prefix. Mats can be entered the same as frames by using the search button, scanning the barcode with a barcode scanner, or typing the item number with the appropriate prefix. Let's add a second map board. The top map board field represents the top mat. When entering a second or third mat, be sure to select the amount to reveal. If you wish to add a fillet to a mat, click in the fillet field. This screen will allow you to enter a fillet on any of the mat boards that you have entered. If you want to add a fillet to a frame, you need to use the stacked frame icon. Frame 1 represents our innermost frame. Since we already have a frame 1 entered, click the Insert button to move the existing frame 1 into frame 2. You can now enter the fillet in frame 1. The frame price displayed here now represents the combined retail price of frame 1 and frame 2. The stacked frame icon will also change to show that two frames have been entered. The following fields are slightly different as they all present a pop-up list when you click in the field. These lists are all populated by records in the price codes file. For more information on customizing these lists, please watch the video titled Setting Up the Work Order File. Clicking on the underlined text for any of these fields will provide you with more details of the item, allow you to enter more items for that group, and view pricing and inventory information. Select Frame 1. We can see any footage that we have in stock and the required footage for this frame job. If you are logged in with level 3 or level 4, you can also see how the item is being priced. The map board section will allow us to enter up to 7 mats and check our inventory and pricing. We can also indicate reverse bevels and add spacers. To view another detail screen, select the appropriate tab at the top. Let's say you want to enter another fitting item.
The price shown here now represents the total retail price of our two fitting items. Since we're using a stacked frame, we need to tell FrameReady which frame to size the glass to. In the Fit to Frame field, select 2. This will size the glass to fit the inside measurement of frame 2 rather than frame 1, which is our fillet. The other field allows you to select an item from the customizable value list. There are many other options on the work order screen, but you should now have a better understanding of how the basics of the materials section can help make your business more efficient, help with ordering, provide you with valuable information, and more profitable pricing. This concludes this video. For more information on the individual work order blocks, take a look at the other videos titled Understanding the Work Order.